Welcome to the Process Control Laboratory at Addis Ababa Science and Technology University, Chemical Engineering Department. This lab is where we bridge theory and practice, giving you the hands-on experience you need to understand how industries maintain efficiency, safety, and precision through process control. So, what is process control exactly? Process control is the science of managing key variables, temperature, pressure, flow, and level to make sure everything runs smoothly. Whether you're working with a chemical reaction, cooling system, or even oil refinery, process control ensures systems remain stable, safe, and optimal. Here in the Process Control Lab, we perform experiments using specialized trainers for temperature, pressure, flow rate, pH, speed, and level control. These experiments focus on different types of controllers, including proportional, proportional integral, and proportional integral derivative PID controllers. You'll also dive into controller tuning methods, ensuring you understand how to fine-tune systems for the best performance. Let's explore the core of the lab, the equipment that enables you to delve into the field of process control. The following are the essential tools found in the process control lab. 1. Open Loop RPM Control 2. Closed Loop RPM Control 3. Process Control PLC Application Pilot Plant 4. GUNTRT 210 Process Control Rig Include Level. Flow Rate and Temperature Control 5. Multi-Process Control Unit Flow, Level, Temperature, and Pressure 6. Multi-Process Control Unit Flow, Level, Temperature, and Speed 7. Automatic Level and Flow Rate Control Unit 8. Automatic Pressure and Flow Rate Control Unit 9. Automatic Temperature and Flow Rate Control Unit 10. Automatic pH and Flow Rate Control Unit 11. Control Valve Testing and Calibrate. The objective of the mentioned control unit is to determine the tuning parameters using the Ziegler-Nichols Ultimate Gain Method and to compare the effects of P, Pi, and PID controllers on variables such as level, flow rate, temperature, pH, and pressure. All equipment found in the process control lab, except for the open and closed RPM loop systems, is equipped with a control panel for manual monitoring on the board and is also connected to a PC for automatic operation using proprietary software. Open Loop RPM Control In the Open Loop RPM Control, the speed of the motor or drill is manually set without feedback correction. This is an open loop system, where once the set point is provided, the system operates at that speed without making any adjustments. The main objective of conducting the experiment using this open loop or PM control is to evaluate the impact of disturbance loads on the speed of the drill when using the open loop speed control unit. Closed loop or PM control in the closed loop RPM control, the system automatically adjusts to maintain the desired speed by using feedback mechanisms to make real-time corrections. This provides a more precise and adaptive control, making it ideal for industrial machines where maintaining consistent speed is crucial. The main objective of conducting the experiment using this closed loop RPM control is to evaluate the effect of disturbance loads on the speed of the drill by utilizing the closed loop speed control unit. Process Control PLC Application Pilot Plant Here, we have the Process Control PLC Application Pilot Plant. This programmable logic controller PLC is the brain behind many industrial processes, from manufacturing lines to chemical reactors. It's what controls and automates the systems, making sure everything runs in a controlled, safe, and efficient manner. The RT80 Process Model PLC application is designed to demonstrate complex PLC control functions in process control, particularly for discontinuous portioning and mixing. The system includes a trolley with a 70L supply tank, a centrifugal pump, and a demonstration panel that houses industrial standard components. Water is circulated through the system by the pump. The system features three measuring containers, which are filled and drained using solenoid valves with overflow pipes leading to a rear tank. The liquid levels in the containers are monitored using capacitive proximity switches. The measuring containers empty into a mixing container, where mixing is achieved by transferring liquid from the containers. 
The mixing container has three proximity switches, and an agitator is used to speed up the mixing process. Finally, the mixing container is emptied by opening a solenoid valve. GUNTRT210 process control rig level, flow rate, and temperature. This control unit is a compact unit intended to demonstrate essential control circuits. It provides an ideal introduction to processes forming part of measurement and control technology. Data measurement and control are performed by means of a software which can simulate all possible controller types P, PI, PD and PID controllers, 2 and 3 point controllers. Not only is it possible to operate individual controllers, but also simulate and examine cascaded control circuits. This process control rig is used for experiments to control parameters such as level, flow, and temperature in a process. Control strategies implemented include proportional P, proportional integral PI, proportional derivative PD, proportional integral derivative PID, and cascade control. These are the components of process control rig. Multiprocess control unit flow, level, temperature, and pressure. The unit mod MPUEV is a multiprocess unit to study the automatic flow, level, pressure, and temperature control. It is consists of a 100L tank, a column, two centrifugal pumps G1 and G2, two differential pressure transmitters, and for pneumatic control valves FV1, LV1, PV1, and TVL. See its operation diagram here with attached. The centrifugal pump D1 sucks the water from the bottom of the tank D1 and sends it to the column D2 whose level has to be controlled. Then, using pump G2, the water returns to the tank D1 by passing through the plate heat exchanger. The flow rate control loop consists in the typical system composed of calibrated diaphragm, control valve, differential pressure transmitter and PID controller. The level control loop consists in a tank connected with a differential pressure transmitter, a control valve and PID controller. The pressure level loop is obtained using a tank, a control valve, a pressure transmitter and PID controller. The tank is pressurized using compressed air. The pressure level loop is obtained using a tank, a control valve, a pressure transmitter and PID controller. The tank is pressurized using compressed air. The temperature control loop consists of a plate heat exchanger, a control valve for the flow rate of the cooling water, an RTDPT10 and a PID controller. The hot current consists of hot water produced by an electrical heater, the cold current is the main water. The system is managed via supervision software mod. SWMPUTV, allowing operation from APC. Multiprocess control unit flow, level, temperature, and speed. In this unit, we focus on managing speed in addition to flow, temperature, and level. Imagine controlling the speed of a motor while also regulating the flow of a fluid. This is critical in many industries like automated manufacturing and pumping stations. The process control plant mod, Unipro, EVE mainly consists of two tank and one small solution tank, a centrifugal pump and air to pipe heat exchanger. Tank D1 is manually filled by connecting a hose to the tap nearby. The pump G1 intakes the water from tank D1 bottom, and fed it to tank C1, where level control is done. Then G2 pumps the water from C1 to a heat exchanger and final back to D1. Tank D1 has a heater coil and the temperature is controlled by passing circulated water through pipe to a heat exchanger. Flow is controlled by the pneumatic valve located above the pumps. Generally, there are four process variables controlled in this system i.e. temperature inside D1, level inside C1, flow rate of exiting fluid from tank D1 and speed of fun motor from a pipe to air heat. Automatic Level and Flow Rate Control Pilot Plant The Automatic Level and Flow Rate Control Pilot Plant is a great example of how automation helps maintain steady states in industrial systems. Whether it's maintaining fluid levels in tanks or controlling flow rates in pipelines, this system helps you get familiar with closed-loop automatic control. 
the Process Control System mod. REG AVEL EVE mainly consists of a 100 L tank, a column, two centrifugal pumps G1 and G2, two differential pressure transmitters, and two pneumatic control valves FE1 and LV1. See its operation diagram here with attached. The centrifugal pump D1 sucks the water from the bottom of the tank D1 and sends it to the column D to whose level has to be controlled. Then, using centrifugal pump G2, the water returns to the tank D1. The constant head tank D3 allows to feed the column D2 with a fixed flow rate. Automatic pH and flow rate control pilot plant. In industries like water treatment or chemical production, it's essential to control both the pH level and the flow rate to maintain the quality and stability of the process. The Process Control Unit Mod, Rega pH basically consists of a 15-1 jacketed reactor, a double body metering pump, two feeding tanks and a collection tank. The flow rate of the acid solution is fixed to the desired value, and the pH in the reactor is controlled varying the flow rate of the basic solution. Automatic Flow Rate and Pressure the Process Control Plant Mod, Rega, F mainly consists of a 61 tank, a centrifugal pump and for different type of flow meters. The pump G1 intakes the water from tank D1 bottom by a pressure control loop in split range, sends it to a preselected line venturi or calibrated orifice or variable area flow meter or magnetic flow meter and from here, by another flow control loop, it sends it back to tank DL. The manual valve set in bypass to the pneumatic flow control valve can create noise on the control chain. Temperature and flow rate control. This system combines both temperature control and flow regulation to keep industrial processes running at peak efficiency whether in distillation, chemical reactions, or cooling systems. The Process Control Unit Mod, Rega T consists of a 31 jacketed reactor and heat exchanger, a tank for hot water collection and a centrifugal pump. The pump G1 intakes the water from tank DL to be sent to the jacket of reactor R1, a stir inside the reactor offers. A better heat exchange between the hot water of the jacket and the water to be heated inside the reactor. The water coming from the reactor jacket is sent to the heat exchanger E1, inside the pipes, to be heated. Inside the external pipe it is powered by steam. A control loop FIC1 feeds reactor R1 with a fixed quantity of water, and R1's level is kept constant by a siphon. The quantity of heat necessary to keep the temperature inside the reactor constant is controlled by loop TIC1. The valve V11 set in bypass to the pneumatic valve allows the creation of disturbances across the control system. Digital test stand for control valve. At last but not least, we have control valve testing and calibration unit in this lab. Valves control the flow and pressure in pipelines, and this is where we test and calibrate them. The digital test stand for control valve lets you fine-tune valves to ensure they perform with precision. This is essential for controlling the flow in everything from water treatment plants to chemical processing facilities. In a closed water circuit, with a recycle pump, G1, and a sump tank, D1, it is positioned the valve to be tested, the circuit is provided of a magnetic induction flow meter, FT1 and to pressure transmitters, PI1 and PI2, to measure the pressure drop across the valve. So, why is all this important? Well, process control is the backbone of modern industry. Whether you're designing a water treatment plant, working in an oil refinery, or even in the food industry, understanding how to control key parameters like flow, pH, pressure, temperature, and level is crucial to ensuring safe, efficient, and sustainable operations. At Adi Sababa Science and Technology University, fourth-year chemical engineering students from Weldia University are actively engaged in hands-on experiments in the process control lab, under the guidance of a specialized chemical engineer trainer. 
This unique learning experience allows students to apply theoretical knowledge in a real-world setting. We invite any universities interested in providing valuable opportunities for their students to develop skills in process control to join us. Thank you for joining us on this tour of the Process Control Laboratory. We'll see you in the next video, where you'll get even more hands-on experience with the exciting world of process control. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe and share.